Yo, what's going on guys? This is Soul Striker. Welcome back to a new a plugin tutorial. Today we're doing it on an awesome plugin, guys. I'm actually super excited to do this. And it's called Server Tutorial Plus. Basically, if you guys remember back in the day on Mindplex, I had this NPC that you could click on and it would teleport you around different locations on the hub and just show you like where rewards were, where the server selectors were, stuff like that. It, they don't have it anymore but it is a super awesome idea and Hive actually has this uh, on screen now as a little demonstration of what it does. This was on their uh, Hive SG and I don't really play on the Hive uh, like at all but I knew they had this so I just wanted to show you guys an example of what it does. It's Super professional. I really like the aspect of it. The maker so you're even more custom, and it's just really awesome. So go ahead and download it. Uh, keep in mind it is available for the versions of 1.9 through 1.11, and it's not compatible with 1.8, which is kind of sad. But it's always updated for your latest version of Minecraft, which is always awesome. So make command is st. That just brings up the help menu, the server tutorial, and then now we're gonna create one. So we're gonna call it st create and then yt. So that just brings up like the ID basically. So you can also remove it with st remove and then the ID. So now what we wanna do is add points. So I'm gonna stand right here, right in the smack dab middle of my server. Do st add point and then the name yt. So now we have created a point. So this is a point that a player will spawn in. So uh, next, I'm gonna come down here to where like the parkour is, and we'll just add another point. And then uh, we'll go ahead and uh, fly around. We'll fly up to the 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 top over here, and then we'll show like a, a big like high view of the spawn and we'll come over here and then we'll go ahead and show off the different uh, like portal areas I guess so we'll, we'll fly like about right here and then we'll fly in about right here so we have created one two we have created five points five points on our server so you can create unlimited points if you want you just have to remember how many you have so now what we want to do is go ahead and uh, we want to edit each of the different areas because if you don't edit anything if you uh, st play and then yt basically you'll be teleported to diff different areas but you won't like you'll fall down <laughs> this is what i'm trying to say so that's what happens when you don't edit anything so it's really helpful when you actually edit everything so now what we want to do is edit everything. So we'll do st edit and then our name, yt, and then our first point. So we have five points, so you have to remember how many points you have. So this is our first point, what we want to do, and then we want to set a title message. So there are actually so many things that you can set. You can set like a message in chat. You can also set an action bar. You can set a, a title. You can have sounds fireworks and commands and a whole bunch of awesome things and you can also hook onto NPC so if you want to right click on something it will automatically start the tutorial or you can also set a block as you see right here where it's like set block so what my, I want to do is uh, go ahead and change the title message of my first point so as you see we have edit YT and then our first spawn point this is the first point that we set and then we want to set title and then the title then we want to enter title again and then the actual title message so you can use any color codes you want so I'm actually going to go ahead and use uh, yellow and we'll put uh, welcome and then uh, we'll set that for the title and then I also want to set the subtitle and then we'll put in uh, brackets and my craft <laughs> so that, that's what we're gonna do so you can put in whatever your like your server's name so that is how to add it edit the title and the subtitle for point one so now we what I want to do is set the time so like the time limit is like how long uh, it will like stay up there basically so what we want to do is set time and then set time and then I'm just gonna have it like five so we're gonna this is in seconds, so I'm gonna put it in five seconds. And then also for the title message, title message you can put set title, title, and then stay, and then that's how long the title stays up on the screen. So every uh, this one is in ticks, 
20 ticks equals one second, so I'm gonna put in 60 ticks. So like above the spawn where we set a point, we want players to be able to like stay locked in place. So uh, actually for this point, I'm actually gonna set the fly mode to true and a lock player to true. Basically what that means is that if you set something in the air, then they'll be able to like hover in the air and they'll be locked in place. Lock player to true, and that's pretty much it. So if we do st play point st play point yt and then our first point as you see welcome to my craft and then if you do st play point yt2 so as you see we wanted to be able to float in the air so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, set my title so basically it's the same thing uh, what we want to do is make sure you set uh, your second point and make sure you have st edit your name and then the second point so this is the second point that we want i'm going to change the title and then the title message itself and we'll put the uh, try your parkour skills <laughs> there we go so that's the title i'm not going to have a subtitle for this one and then we'll put uh, make sure we want it to be able to fly and lock in place so we'll set fly to true and then lock player to true as well so lock player to true and then this one i'm going to set my action bar so we'll do action bar and then our message that we want so the action bar is like on the bottom of the screen so we're going to make it a whole bunch of like random letters so we'll just do that <laughs> just why not and then now if we st play point YT2, as you see, uh, try your part kill skills. It's kind of it's kind of big on my screen. Our skills. There we go. We'll enter that, and then we'll play point two. There we go. Try your parkour skills. That looked awesome. So now if we play point uh, three, as you see, this is all the way up in the air. So basically, it's the same thing. You're doing it over and over again. We'll put it in blue bold, and then we'll see C R spawn. There we go. We'll see our spawn. Oops, I forgot to end off the brackets. There we go. See our spawn. Pretty awesome. So see our spawn, and that is the subtitle. I mean the title, and now I'm going to change the subtitle to. Um, and we'll put built by. And then we'll put the player's name rubber so that is the subtitle and then I also want to lock the players fly mode so fly to true and then we'll to lock player to true so lock player to true so I actually don't want to do the four and five points so I'm gonna go ahead and remove point and then YT so it'd be five and then also four so now I'm gonna show you guys everything together so we'll do ST and then the play and then yt so go ahead and welcome to minecraft so this is the first point this is the second point and this is super awesome i really really like that so i know it's a little bit fast so i'm actually going to edit that real quick so st yt and then number two set time and then this is in seconds so i'm going to do each one at five seconds so they can actually like stay in there for a little bit so like stay in the air and just like see and admire everything about the server so we'll do st and then play and then yt again so we have a welcome to my craft and we should be able to stay here for about five seconds there we go it looks awesome it looks awesome and then there we go it looks so dope i really like this plugin make sure you guys go download it it is free on spigot and uh, if you guys have any questions feel free to let me know one last thing for I, I forgot to mention to you guys is how to add an npc or a block that players can right click in order to start your tutorial on your server so if i go to slash spawn this is my spawn for my server so i want the tutorial npc to be right over here so i'm gonna stand this way <coughs> and i'm gonna face this way and this is where i want the npc so we'll do st and then can either set a block or an npc so npc is like basically any mob in minecraft so we'll do npc and then it just shows you you can add remove a list and set the text above the npc's head so i'm going to add it and then now what we want to do is enter an id so you can enter like a number a name or anything so i'm going to call it yt because that is the same name as my tutorial and it just makes it easier and remember that you know that oh yt npc is for yt tutorial so i would recommend using the same name as your like tutorial id but you can set it to however you want so 
as you see we have st npc add and then the id so i'm gonna call it yt and then the tutorial name or the tor tutorial id that you have so mine is also yt so that's now i can remember it so yt and yt and then the mob that you want so there's all sorts of different types of mobs that you can want i'm just gonna type in asdf so you guys can see so we have villager zombie husk witch spider slime uh, and you can read all those guardian. I'm actually using the guardian because that looks super dope. So guardian and we should hit enter and as you see that looks dope guys that looks so dope so now if you want to add uh, change the text you can also change the text so you can do NPC text and then as you see we need the ID so YT and then you can do it on the top uh, which is the top where it says tutorial and the bottom is a right click so I'm gonna call it uh, we'll do the top one and we're gonna uh, type in we'll actually put like little squigglies so we'll do little squigglies and then we'll do uh, I forgot to enter the YT so there we go so see our server and I actually need to make this uh, we need to make it and R just reset it there we go see our server right click go ahead and right click it welcome to minecraft try your parkour skills it is so awesome guys like you don't even know see our spawn built by rubber so that is how you do this npc super super awesome i really like it and uh you don't really need any other plugins just drop it in your plugins folder set and you're ready to go guys so yeah that's pretty much all with the plugin super awesome plugin i'm not gonna lie it's really awesome just adds a whole bunch of, like customization to your server it makes it even more professional than you already guys made it so <laughs> it's just super awesome and just look at this guardian it looks so sick and uh, yeah so that's pretty much all it is a free plugin on spigot no dependencies it does support placeholder api if you guys do use that but that's pretty much all no dependencies as i said drop it in your plugins folder make sure you're using a, either a 1.9 1.10 or 1.11 server version and it will work and let me know if you guys have any questions down in the comments down below and i will see you guys next time